In this video, I'm going to show you how fast it is to build, deploy, and share interactive data apps in just a few lines of code. Let's get started. Overview of Streamlit Streamlit's open source Python framework is so intuitive, and syntax defaults have baked in polish, so you don't need front end experience like React, CSS, HTML, or JavaScript. You can deploy anywhere and share with anyone. If you're a data scientist, AI ML engineer, or simply a data lover, and you know Python, Streamlit is your go-to UI. The great thing about Streamlit is that it's compatible with almost everything, from your favorite libraries like Pandas, NumPy, and Altair, to the latest tools in AI, including your favorite models, vector databases, and rack frameworks. It is worthy to note that you can use very clear syntax, almost guessable. For example, need to write a header? st.header. And how about writing out some text? st.write. Need to add a divider? st.divider. Simply search in the docs for the right API to use. How does Streamlit work? By design, Streamlit reruns your script every time a user interacts with your app. The beauty is, you do have control of your execution logic. You can modify this through caching, session state, or forms. For more advanced functionality, you can use fragments to rerun portions of your app. Here, let me show you how easy it is to get started. First, launch code spaces from within your GitHub account. Second, spin up a blank instance. Third, pip install Streamlit. Fourth, create a simple app in just two lines of code. Next, we'll take a deeper dive into creating an interactive data app with five examples. Before going to the examples, we'll start by loading data from a CSV file using pandas. We can use caching to speed up data loading for subsequent runs. In this first example, we'll use stdataeditor that allows us to display and edit data. In this second example, we'll use stbarchart to display a simple bar chart. In this third example, we'll make the chart interactive as users can select the year of their choice via the select box, slider, or number input. In this fourth example, we'll create a line chart using Altair. Finally, in this fifth example, we'll sprinkle in more interactivity as users make adjustments to multi-select box and slider. Then the underlying data frame and chart updates accordingly. As you can see, we can build our apps in as little as two lines of code. Then we can grow the app by incrementally adding new features. And voila, you have an interactive data app. Extending Streamless functionality. Most of the time, Streamless native framework is flexible enough for you to integrate any workflow and achieve that clean, interactive app experience. If you do need to extend beyond what Streamlit offers natively, check out the components gallery. This is where the broader community has built hundreds of reusable components for anyone to use. These custom-built components turn hundreds of lines of JavaScript into a single line of Python. Deploying Streamlit apps. There are many easy ways to deploy and share Streamlit apps. Of course, you can deploy locally or on your preferred server. A completely free way to deploy and share your apps is on the Streamlit Community Cloud. Here, your public apps are indexable by Google and can be discovered by anyone around the world. Streamlit apps gets millions of views every month, and it's amazing to see the creativity. You can build anything from chatbots that talk to your data, apps that visualize machine learning models, internal tools that streamline company workflows, or even your latest passion project. Developers and teams from some of the largest companies use Streamlit to interact with data. If you're looking for extended scale and security, 
Streamlit works seamlessly on the Snowflake platform, where all the infrastructure and role-based governance are handled for you. We can't wait to see what you build. Swing by the forum to share your app, ask a question, suggest a new feature, or just say hi. And as always, happy streamlitting.